Hey there, this is Brad from FirstSightGuide.com and in this video I'll be walking you through the process of setting up your WordPress blog manually instead of with the one-click installer. It'll only take a few more steps so stick in there with me and let's get started. First off, we're going to need to download the latest WordPress files from WordPress.org. So let's head over there right now. So type in WordPress.org and we'll find the download WordPress button and it's blue on this page over here on the right. So click there and then click once more to download the latest version of WordPress. Once downloaded, find the file on your computer and open it up in a folder. So we're going to drag this folder over to the left and then open up another folder which will then unpack WordPress into. So pull that over and then select a location where you know you'll be unpacking your WordPress files and then drag the WordPress folder from the left over to the right. This will take just a few minutes for it to unpack and then we'll proceed through. Next, we're going to need to download a free FTP client program that will allow us to log on to our new web hosting server to install WordPress. So click back to your browser and head over to google.com and then type in FileZilla. It's the number one result, so click there. And then on this page, click the Download FileZilla Client button on the left. And then click Download Now. As it finishes downloading, we'll go ahead and open it up and walk through the simple installation process. Okay, so once you've finished installing FileZilla, go ahead and open it up. And we're going to go up to the top left here and click on File, and then click on Site Manager. Here we'll add a new site, but before we do that, we'll need to pull up the account details for our web hosting company. In this case, I'll be assuming you went with Web Hosting Hub for your host and that you're logged into your account management panel section. Scroll down just slightly and look for the account technical details icon and click there. This is where you'll find the host name and your username. So go ahead and select your host name and then copy it. Open up a text file to paste it into and then go back, do the same for your username, back to the text file, and paste it in. So what we're going to do now is recopy the host name, go over to FileZilla, and create that new site. I'll name it our new site. And then for the host name up top here, we'll paste in our host name. For the login type, we'll put normal. And then we'll go back to our text file, grab our username, back to FileZilla, and paste in the username. And then you'll use the same password that you set for your web hosting hub account. And then all you have to do down here is click connect. Now hang in there with me. This is going to get a little technical for a moment, but I'm confident you'll be able to get it done no problem. So we're going to go ahead and leave the FTP client and let's go back to the AMP section and then go back to the main page of the account management panel and we're going to scroll down just slightly and look on the left hand side for the cPanel icon and then click there. It's going to pull up the cPanel page and just go ahead and click no I'm fine thanks and then scroll all the way down to the, the database section. 
right down here. And then we're going to click on My SQL Databases. What we need to do now is create a database, a username, and assign the two together so WordPress can interact with our server and run everything behind the scenes for us. We'll start by creating a database right up here. So go ahead and enter a name. I'm just going to put WordPress and then click Create Database. Now open up a text file and save that newly created database name. I'm going to grab mine here without the quotes and put it into my text file. Click back and then click go back. Now scroll down a bit further and find the add a new user section right here. I'm going to add Brad as the username and then set a secure password and then type it again. Scroll down just slightly and click on the create user button right here. Okay, so we've added the username and the password. Now do the same thing again with the text file. Copy the username and paste it in and copy your password and paste it into the text file. Go back to cPanel and then click go back once again. Alright, now we need to add that same username to the database that we just created and then give the account full permissions. This will allow us to install WordPress manually with these account details. So scroll down towards the bottom of the page and find add user to database. We're going to you're going to want to find the user that you just created, in my case Brad, and I want to add him to the database WordPress. So you'll find those two, select those two, and then click Add. Click the checkbox for All Privileges, and then click the button that says Make Changes. And then once again, click Go Back. Okay, great. That was simple enough, right? Now we have our MySQL database username and password set. Alright, we can go ahead and head back to the FTP client where we're already logged into our account here. And then what we want to do now is we want to access the public HTML section of our FTP connection. This is where your files will be shown to your viewers and that's why we want to install the files for WordPress there. So we'll double click it should just be empty like this and then we're going to need to find our WordPress files that we unpacked. I've pulled mine up here and here's the WordPress folder. I'm going to double click to see all the files. Before we upload our WordPress files we need to edit the configuration file right here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we need to rename it so WordPress recognizes that we've done the correct edits to it. So we're going to click to edit the name and take out the dash and the sample like that. So it just says wp-config.php and we're going to hit enter. Okay, great. And then simply open it up with your Word file. Things may look a little complicated in here, but it's actually really easy to edit. Look for the first option here, the database name, and what we're going to go ahead and do is go back to the text file. We have our database name saved in. We're going to copy and paste it in, and then do the same for your username and your password. We're going to leave the MySQL host name the same as localhost. And then we're also going to set these security strings down here. So there's a URL for you to use right here. So go ahead and copy that and paste it into your browser. And then what that's going to do is it's going to send back these unique strings for you to use to help enhance your blog's security. So you select all those, copy them again. Come back to this file and replace the 
blank ones. Okay, great. You can double check this real quick and then go ahead and click File, Save. Now we're ready to select all of our WordPress files and upload them to our server. So click at the top here, hold Shift, and click at the bottom to select all of our files, and then simply drag them over into the public HTML folder. This will take a few minutes, so feel free to take a quick break, grab some water, and I'll fast forward through to when it's complete. Okay, there, great. Now all we have to do is pull up the front page of our domain name. So I'll go back to my browser and I'll type in bradsfirstblog.com and hit enter. And this WordPress install screen will pop up. We'll select English and click continue. And then we'll take care of these settings right here real fast. We'll enter in a quick site name. I'm going to put Brad's first blog, a username that you'll remember, and a secure password. And then down below, enter your email. And then right down here, you'll click Install WordPress. And that, my friend, is all we have to do to get WordPress installed manually. If you go back to your main blog real fast, we'll take this off the end of the URL, you'll notice that a default theme has been installed. We can log into the WordPress dashboard by adding slash WP admin to the end of your URL. This is going to bring up the username and the password section for your login. So I'll type my username and the password I just set, and then I'll click on login. Ah, and by the way, this is also how you'd install a premium theme into WordPress through the FTP client. So we'll go back there and then find the section that has your theme in it. Here's mine called Cherry Truffle. What you're going to do is take this folder and put it into the WP Content Themes section. So you'll see your existing themes here. And what we're going to do is we're going to click and drag this whole folder inside of our WordPress themes area. That'll take just a moment to upload. I'll fast forward. Okay, so now that that's finished, we can click back and go to our dashboard, hover over the appearance section, and then click themes. This is where we'll go in and we'll see our cherry truffle theme right here that we installed through the FTP client and all we need to do is hover over and then click on activate. And then once we click back to our main domain name, we'll see the cherry truffle theme has been installed. Very cool. That about wraps things up for this video. If you have any other questions or need help with one of the steps, please visit us at firstsightguide.com. We'd be happy to help you out. Take care and enjoy your new blog.